welcome back guys so in today's lecture uh, i am going to continue uh, the controls identification methods uh, in my previous lecture i have already discussed about identify by anchor today uh, we will discuss about identify by index so in my previous lecture i have shown you how to identify your controls using anchor and there are basically four ways of identifying your controls that is um, identify by anchor property image and uh, index uh, also there are, there is one more fifth way which i will uh, let you know in uh, my other lectures so today we will go using identify by index so in some cases what happens uh, suppose just to explain you i will tell that uh, in which case we can use identify by index and why we actually uh, come to a conclusion where we have to use any of the identification methods of controls uh, so as we have anchors index and other stuff so index identify by index is something we generally do not use more frequently uh, we try our level best to to means uh, limit ourselves uh, up to properties anchor and after that if our execution will not work then we will go for index because there are higher chances that the index which we are trying to get uh that is also present in some other uh, controls and in that way uh, the outcome which you want to get is not possible so suppose what happens uh, you are getting an error uh, where a message is coming like mm, the control is not able to identified or suppose you are here you want to add add to cart and you have selected using access can this particular add to cart but you can see there are other add to cart as well so if you will select this also your uh, uh, tosca commander will get confused that which one need to be uh, uh, selected so this is where duplicate controls comes so because of duplicate controls you will not be able to your commander will not be able to identify and then you need a special scenarios or special help you can say using which you can uh, run your test cases so i will show you what happens so firstly let's scan this and uh, uh, we will go to s scan and uh, we will run our scan okay so we are here and uh, we will go to blue jeans and we will add it to cart okay so if you will see this is coming in orange color and here it is saying the selected item is not unique and then we will go to select shopping cart as well because we have to perform the other things as well so uh, we will go to shopping cart maximize it so here we have shopping cart and uh, we are selecting the item selected is unique okay so these are the three items which we will save and then we will close this and if you will see here this is our shopping cart wish list log out everything is there now we will try to run this 
we will we have this one we will move it up here and then we will see what is blue jeans at two pop shopping cart also there is one more thing you have to follow is you have to make it make your controls in a way that which one you want to click first and which one you want to click last need to be in that order suppose shopping cart you have click um, move it to up and blue jeans down so it will search for shopping cart first and blue jeans then so in this way uh, the uh, your commander will get confused and your test case will fail so make it in the order you want to uh, select the controls now we will come here and keep it here and this is where we will try to move it little up Okay, so we have keep kept here the um, demo with of April and here blue jeans add to one shopping cart. Now we will click on click and the input will come. Action mode will be input and then shopping cart will be click and action mode will be input. So this is done and we will try to run it. it got failed and we will see the error so it is saying more than one control found for action add to cart okay so what we will do we will come to apparent source rescan it as we already have our control selected using the x scan so we will be able to search them so we will so this is showing unmapped controls so we will move it to map first and okay so I have mapped them and, uh, and now you will see add to cut and blue jeans they are coming in orange color of so we have to make it unique the selected item is not unique and shopping cart is unique so that why that color is not coming here so we will what we will do we will identify by index so if you will see use the index only if you cannot choose other identification criteria to uniquely identify the control okay so this is the last uh, uh, last option when you do not uh, able to resolve your issues using the other identify by uh, methods so in that case we will go for identify by index now click on index so you will see the selected item is unique now okay and save it so when you will save it it will get close and sorry and close it so 
so now we are good uh, uh, we will cancel this and we will run it again and we will see that uh, add to cart should work Wonderful. We have added to cart and blue, uh, blue and green sneaker has been selected. Okay. So now this is how you will use identify by index. We are getting a different error, which we will see and resolve uh, in next lecture, or uh, we will see how this error should be resolved. So right now we have already resolved that using identify by index. So that's all for now. Thank you guys.